Happy Sunday, everybody, and welcome to episode two of Simply Helix. I'm your host, Carlos Santon. Please hit like and subscribe if you're watching today. And we're going to look at a really simple Helix setup. This is the setup that I first started with when I first got my Helix. So if that's if that's you and uh, you, know, you, you have your Helix and you don't quite know what to do with it or how to set it up or you know what, what to do with the bloody thing, I'm going to show you a real simple, simple way approach to it. Okay, a real simple method that's coming right up. Stay tuned. All right, I'm a simple guy. I like simple things. Uh, my favorite pedal of all time is the uh, MXR Phase 90, the EVH Phase 90 especially. And I like it because it has one knob on it. You want more, you turn it up. You want less, you turn it down. Nice and simple. I love simple things in life. I love simple cooking. I love anything simple. I like to keep things simple, okay? I'm going to show you a nice simple setup here for your Helix to get you started. The great thing about Helix is that if you only need to use 5% of its capabilities, then that's all you use it for. If you need something that's really complex and, and, and can do a lot of routing and recording and have, be a, an entire home studio or an entire live rig, the Helix is up to that challenge as well, okay? Myself right now, I would say that I'm probably only using between 5 and 10% of, its, of the unit's capabilities, and that's okay. If you want to keep it simple, uh, the Helix will work for you just fine, okay? Uh, just because it is a very capable piece of equipment, it doesn't mean that you need to use all of its capabilities all of the time. Okay, so let's take a look at a nice, simple setup for you. And this is actually how I started. All right, so you have your Helix. Uh, you might be a tube amp guy like I've been for many, many years. I have a 50 watt combo here. I have a couple of EVH heads behind me here. I have a one by 12 cabinet here, another four by 12 cabinet off to the left here, to my right. Used tube amps all my life. I'm used to them, struggled with them. You know, all the, all the, uh, you know, the issues that come with tube amps and replacing tubes and tone and the whole thing. Um, but, you know, very familiar with tube amps. Got a Helix a little over a year ago. Nice and simple, I promised you I'd keep it simple. Here it is. Uh, guitar, my trusty EVH Wolfgang. Guitar into the Helix. And I'll swing the camera over around over to the unit in a minute and, and zoom in on that for you. But guitar into the input of the Helix. The output on the back of the Helix into the front of my tube amp, of my, my 1x12 combo. So I'm going into the front. I'm not even using the effects loop, the effects return. I'm not using the four cable method. It's one cable into the Helix, one cable into the tube amp. Never mind all this stuff here. None of it is anywhere uh, near the, the, my, my signal chain today, okay? So all this gear that you see here, not playing it it's not uh it's not in 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 the chain at all guitar helix helix into the tube amp and right now i don't have even the helix i don't have anything in in the chain of the helix in in the signal chain on the helix so it's just my guitar amp the clean sound into the clean channel and here's what it sounds like pretty basic clean sound um, I don't have a lot of treble on it right now it's a little a little uh, I usually use a little more treble on on my clean channel um, you know I haven't even played with the uh, with the EQ settings on the tube amp I just you know turned it on and took it off standby and so it's set where it's set okay so there's your clean sound um, this is the setup that I'm going to show you is going to work for you if you have any amp, any tube amp or solid state, any amp with a clean channel, this is going to work for you. It could be a cheap little practice amp. It could be, you know, it could be a, a larger, a larger tube combo, uh, more powerful tube combo. It doesn't matter. Um, if you have a clean channel on your amp, 
this is going to work, okay? All right, so that is the, that's the clean channel. Pretty straightforward, no surprises there. It's a nice clean channel. It's, it's an amp that takes pedals really well. Let's swing around to the Helix now, put the camera on the Helix, and I'm going to do the editing actually straight from the unit itself. I won't even use the software, and I tend not to use the software. The software is terrific, HX Edit. Um, I really like it, but I just find that it's so easy to, to program everything I need on the actual unit itself. So let me show you a, a couple of things there, okay? All right, so here we have the screen for our Helix. And this is our home screen. And when you first turn it on, you may get a, a, a and you pick a, a, a bank and a patch, you may get something that looks like this. In fact, it may not even have that. It may just have, uh, it, may just, it may just look like that. And this is your signal chain, okay? Um, and just like you would on a tube amp with a pedal board, uh, your signal chain here on, on your Helix is going to appear on this screen for you. So we're just going to, going to go ahead and we're going to we're going to hit this button here. And we are going to go down to amp. And we're not going to go amp and cab because we are playing into a 1x12 with a Celestion Vintage 30. So that's our cabinet. We don't need to add another cabinet. We're just going to pick an amp. So go amp, go guitar, and all your amps pop up here on your Helix. We're going to go all the way down to the PV Panama. Reason being, I'm so familiar with uh, the 5150. The PV Panama is uh, the Helix model of the, of actually, of that amp right there. Okay, so the PV Panama is a model of this amp right here, the real thing I have. And you know, I've played that amp for years and years and years, and I'm really familiar with it. And so I thought, you know what, since I'm so familiar with, uh, with the 5150, let me start with that model in the Helix. So that's what I did. I dropped, So I just dropped that into our signal chain. And that's all I have activated in, in our Helix signal chain is just the amp. And keep in mind, we're going into the front of the clean channel on the on the one by twelve, okay? And just like a pedal board, uh, an analog pedal pedal board and a tube amp, if that is my amp, anything that I place on the signal chain before the amp would be like my pedal board. So I might want to put, I could put, you know, I could put a flanger there, I could put a phaser, I could put a chorus. Anything you want to put before the amp would go on this side of the signal chain and anything that you wanted to drop in say in the effects loop of your of your amp like a delay or a reverb that would go on after uh, after the amp on that side of the signal chain okay your input is here I leave it on multi and one little trick for you and I'll, I'll demo we'll demonstrate this with some audio coming right up in a minute um, your Helix comes with a, with a built-in uh, noise gate. Here it is here. It's on right now. Listen to that. So your Helix comes with a built-in noise gate. And on the high gain amp models, I just turn it on. And the good folks at Line 6 have set up your noise gate so that it works really actually quite well stock. All you need to do is turn it on. You have your parameters there that you can adjust, right? Your threshold and your decay. Um, but I find the way that it's set up right out of the box with, with the Helix, it works great. And I've never had the need to sort of play with those parameters or those settings. So turn that on. We'll go ahead and turn that on. It's on right now, as you can see. And we're going to go back to our amp. And all I've done is turn, uh, drop the amp into our signal chain so it's on. And I haven't changed any of the settings. I haven't changed the drive, the bass, the mid, the treble. And if we, you know, master, sag, hum, resonance, I haven't changed any of those parameters, okay? All I've done is drop that amp into our signal chain. 
let's hear what that sounds like. Okay, so we're back. We've turned on the, uh, the PV Panama model, and that's all we've done. We've just dropped it into our signal chain so it's on. I haven't played with any of the settings on that, and I have not touched any of the EQ on the combo, because don't forget, we're going into the front of the combo, and all of our EQ on the combo uh, is active. It works. And so it's kind of like having another EQ uh, pedal or an EQ block um, on the app itself. So here's what it sounds like. <laughs> And that's, and that's, we've done nothing to the tone. And uh, we have a really usable tone here. And then this is a tone that I can work with and I can build on. And it's not set up exactly the way I would want in terms of, you know, bass and treble and, and mids and all that. Uh, we're going to do a little bit of EQing. And, and, but this is a completely workable tone. I don't have any delay. I don't have any reverb. Uh, it's just the dry amp. And that's what, that's what your Helix sounds like when you plug it into the front of the tube amp. None of the bells and whistles on or activated or in your signal chain at all. Uh, just the bare amp tone going into the, into the front of the tube amp, okay? So let's just do this again for you. This is with, this is with the amp off, so just the clean channel. just your basic clean channel. We're going to go ahead and turn on our Helix. <laughs> and there's your PV Panama amp model. And I've done nothing to it. Okay, I just dropped it into our signal chain. Haven't even worried about, uh, you know, the settings on the amp or the settings on, on my combo. And so there you have it, guys. That's how I started with the Helix. And that's, that's exactly how I started with the Helix. I didn't know what I was doing. I was a little bit overwhelmed with the unit. It was, you know, really futuristic and space age looking. And it had all kinds of options and menus and, and things. I didn't know what was, I didn't know up from down. I did figure out how to turn it on. I figured out how to put something into the signal chain, which I just showed you. And um, I plugged it into the front of my, of my tube amp. And uh, you know, I'll tell you a little story about how it, why I did that even. Um, I, was, uh, I was watching an interview with Steve Lynch of Autograph and he's still playing and touring and recording and, and teaching um, on, on my buddy Eric Broadbent's channel, uh, EVH and Gear TV. He was on there about a year ago, and he was talking about his live rig. And it was a real eye-opener for me, this interview, because his live rig consists of, and this was maybe in 2017, consists of a Boss ME70. So it was a guitar, a Boss ME70, and then the Boss ME70 into the clean channel of whatever Marshall, Marshall amps that the, uh, that the venue has provided for him. And he plugs directly into the clean channel. So he sets up everything on his Boss ME70. He wasn't even using the ME80, the new one. It was, he was using the old ME70. And he was going guitar, ME70, having all his patches set up into there, and then plugging into the clean channel of a you know, Marshall TSL or DSL or whatever was provided by the venue. And that was his tone. And that's kind of where I got the idea 
to uh, just to give that a shot and to try it. And, you know, I didn't know what I was doing. Kept, kept it simple. Didn't know what I was doing. And just plugged it into the front of my, my tube combo. And within a couple of minutes, I, I had some really, really good usable tone. And I knew I was going to keep the Helix uh, within about five minutes of plugging in and playing. Just like I showed you now. It, it didn't take me any longer than that. Um, and I knew once I started getting familiar with the unit and adding, you know, delay and effects and, and doing some tweaking and EQing that I would get a tone that I'm really, really happy with. Uh, but just that. <laughs> just that that's a really good bass tone that's a really good high gain workable tone and you, you know I can do a lot with that I'm really happy with that and it sounds as good as I can't really tell a difference between my helix amp model and a tube amp and it sounds really close really familiar to the actual 5150 I have there um, you know it, it's, it's really good tone it's really usable and I'm actually not playing that loud um, I'm not playing loud enough to rattle the windows or to disturb the people. You know, my wife upstairs, she's busy doing some work. And I'm not really disturbing her. And it's just great tone. It, it feels right when you're playing. It feels like a tube amp, sounds like a tube amp, responds like a tube amp. And when you tweak it, it be, when you, when, when you EQ it and tweak it and drop effects into your signal chain, it, uh, it's a tube amp as far as I'm concerned. I, I really don't notice much of a difference at all. Okay, so there you have it, folks. I hope you enjoyed today's episode. I hope, you know, if you're just starting out with Helix, that, you know, this shows you just a really dead, dead simple approach to setting up your Helix just to get familiar with it and getting a tone out of it. And, and really, uh, it's as simple as that. Okay, guys, so stay tuned next week. We're actually going to, we're going to build on this patch. And I'm going to show you, I'll share with you, and I'll show you the, the very first patch that I created with the Helix. So I'm talking about all my effects in the signal chain and what that sounds like and then how I used that very first patch to... Uh, I, I wrote my first song uh, around about the same time, just shortly after getting the Helix. And I'll, I'll go into that as well for you. And I'll break that down for you and you know, I'll play the song for you. But I, I will go through that whole process in, in episode three. Okay, so stay tuned for that. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a great week. We will see you next time on Simply Helix.